left off having interrogated William Dewey, who I screwed up with. I ended up messing up on the last question we asked him because the community lied to me and I didn't trust my gut. So we are going, and my partner having just reviewed my last video on YouTube, I remember, rec recall hearing my partner saying we should go back to the Jacob's backyard. So that's exactly what we're going to do. And I have a feeling he's right feeling we missed something. Here we go. So, um, I gave a speech in Steve Irwin this week for my persuasive speech in speech class, and I got a 79.5 on that. I think I did pretty good. The only problem I had was I messed up. I got a little nervous, like, in the middle of it. I missed one whole part of my speech. And I didn't gesture that much, because how am I going to gesture when I It depends on what you're talking about. I mean, if you're going to gesture, make gestures with your hands or something in your speech, you have to, you have, to have something to gesture, for, you know, you have to have something you can gesture to. I had nothing in my speech that I could gesture to, so, you know, I gotta work on that. And, uh, my final speech is probably two, three weeks from now. So, I've got to get that started, uh, this week. Um, uh, other than that, it's pretty good. back to the crime scene to look for some evidence or something we might have missed. Is that it? No, that's the part we want. Alright, guys. Uh, other than the speech thing, I think, uh... Anyway, other than the speech, there wasn't much that went on this week. Circles. Let me look at the map. Hold on, guys. Really? I'm that far away from it? Really? Wow. Jesus. How am I that far away from it? It doesn't feel like that. It's what's so messing me up. Anyways, she's really nice. I don't care. Alright, here we are. We're here at the scene of the crime again. Okay. I missed a turn. I actually made a turn when I shouldn't have turned. I'm walking here. Better move. So we're gonna park right here. We're gonna get out. Go back to the scene of the crime here. And we're gonna investigate the rest of the car. I think I might have missed something, yes. Oh, what's this? Well, I did miss something. Still missing the wheels wheel. for amateurs car ring would have stripped it in a warehouse. Hmm, that could prove to be useful. Looks like we got more questions to ask Mr. Uh, Mr. What's his frickin' name? 
Oswald Jacobs. Let's go ask Mr. Jacobs what's going on. Vehicle stripped of parts. What exactly did you see them take? They was working on the tires. That's all that was took. Hmm, that doesn't seem right because if I'm correct, that the tire wasn't the only thing that was taken. See? So, he can't be lying. Right. So what did you take, Jacobs? Do you want my partner to pat you down? Someone's going to kick I his ass. I found a notebook in the glove compartment. I was going to show you. It's on the chair on my porch. Thank you for your help, Mr. Jacobs. You can speak to Officer Tabo about signing the formal See, guys, I, I can redeem statement. myself. That, that right there, I redeemed myself. When you get the car myself. out of the way, the community you can come back and do something about those kids. How about we bring you an umpire's mask? All right, you said there's a notebook here. What do we got? Agenda. Okay, so we have the owner of the vehicle, a degenerate. I'll run John Madsen okay, by well, R&I. This is his notebook. Hmm. Hey, look, William Dewey's in here. Contact details on a William Dewey. This looks like business rather than pleasure. Well, that could prove to be useful. So Cole just tucks it away as if it's his. <laughs> now we gotta get on the game well again and call in something. Let's listen in. Phelps badge 1247. There's his badge number. Detective. Can you put me through to Michigan 2458, please? Connecting you now. Hello, can I help you? LAPD, ma'am. Can I speak to John Madsen, please? He's at school, officer. Uh, what's this about? Is he in trouble? How old is your boy, ma'am? Just turned 16. Wrong person, Mrs. Matson. Sorry to disturb you. Messages, please. There's just one message for you, Detective. A four-door Packard diplomatic license number, Paul Robert 706, was reported missing this morning by Juan Francisco Valdez. Could you have him brought in? He's already here at Central, Detective. He's demanding an audience, as he calls it. Well... Thanks. Can you get a message to Captain Leary? Looks Someone like we get our first uh, in interview room. Thanks for your help. We get to interview Juan, Juan Valdez. Can you cordon Let off this lot until we have the vehicle here. impounded? Yes, sir, Juan Detective. Juan Valdez. Ah. We'll follow up on the owner. He's get a, a statement from Jacobs, and I'll read the your report owner back of at the station. Packard. Okay. And the one who we... Okay. All right, guys. Looks like we got a little work to do. First thing we want to do, though, is we want to go to... Now that we've crossed off Jacob's backyard, we got to go to Delgado's residence and, and investigate that area. We'll, we'll go to the uh, one, one guy's... Interview that one person, Juan Valdez, later. Yes, and I know I just jumped over the police barrier. You can do that if you're running towards an object. Most objects. Alright, with my partner, I'll hurry his butt. What the hell? My partner's an idiot, guys, I swear. I'm standing waiting here. You read the story in the examiner of my Navy developing three dimensional movies? What's a dimension? You know what? I'm not going to rat him. You know, like good. a graph. He's helped me Vertical out quite a bit. Y and horizontal he takes care of my light work. Well, that's clear as, as mud. You hear him say, Third dimension would be Z. So, things will be popping out of the screen. That's ridiculous. Scare people out of the theater. God's name would want that. I don't know. People scoffed at the idea of talkies and color. Look what we have now. All right. Are we here yet? Yes, we are. Here we are, people. Delgado's residence. So okay, let's see what Gabriel has to say go. for himself. 
I just hope our Archangel hasn't already flown. What the hell is this guy doing? There's no P.O. box, so I'm gonna have to take a guess. Is it this one? Hello? Hey, keep it down, would you? My little girl just got to sleep. Oh. Okay. I am a cop, and you will respect my authority! Yeah, there we go. Yet. Yeah. LAPD, ma'am. We're looking for Gabriel Delgado. Gabriel? We're from the police. Policia, you understand? Yes, I understand. Could you come inside? What is your name? Ana Rodriguez. Is Gabriel Delgado here, Ms. Rodriguez? No. What do you want with Gabriel? Is he in trouble? Stay where you are, Ms. Rodriguez. We need to take a look around. But he is not here. I have told you. Check out the surrounds. I'll stay with the broad. All right, so we got to look, check this place out, and we got to check it out thoroughly. So how uh -oh. far along are you, Anna? This isn't looking good. Not for the person. Nearly Not for this person, at least. Souvenirs are a dumb right. Uh, the stolen so how's it going to be when you flag? go into labor and he's hmm. not around? And he's got it next to a Bible. You what are wrong about Gabriel. Reason. He will be a I'm good I'm a father. Christian, and that offends me. Already he works hard to provide for us. What's this? Unless you help Probably us here, nothing. Anna, your little one won't be seen pop up. Difficult to tell whether it's the time. suspect vehicle from the scene. Huh. Certainly Gabriel's pride and joy. Huh? Well, breakfast plates. Serving breakfast Someone was two, here recently. Anna, you should have cleared up. That's not good either. This is all looking really bad for Mr. Delgado. Is it Delgado? Was it Delgado? I... Sorry, people. I I'm bad with names. I'm bad with names. Okay, I forget. Unless people tell me their name three or four times, I'm gonna forget it. Um, yes, Mr. Juan Valdez. Okay, so, looks like he's got a back shed. We're going to check that out. Let's check around the house first. Just to make sure we're not missing anything. Mower. Jeez, how do those things even work? Seriously. this nothing what the no that's just a tire iron or something uh oh i found the like tires gets his wheel back that's not good either that's strike number 2 mr valdez and strike number 3 i think that's our license plate Diplomatic license plates. Yep. Not good for Mr. Valdez. Mr. Valdez is in a serious load of trouble. But we still have to, in to interview the owner of the car and see what he has to say about that. And so we can't cuff Mr. Valdez. You're in yet. serious trouble, Miss Rodriguez. But Gabriel is not here. I have done nothing wrong. All right, guys. Here we are again. Now we're going to interrogate Anna Rodriguez. Why did he steal the car, Anna? The customer insulted him. He has his honor, no? She's telling the truth. I know it looks suspicious, but she's telling the truth. His honor, Anna? He said Dewey's friend tried to make a woman out of him. He no longer respects this man, Dewey. He took the car to show this maricon that he is a man. That doesn't make much sense. Tell us the truth, Anna. Has Gabriel been here? I haven't seen him for at least three nights. Bullshit! 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 You keep lying to me. 
and I'll send you and your baby to jail. He lives here, but he hasn't come home. I swear it. Bullshit again, lady. I have proof. Enough, Anna. There are signs all over this place that he's been back. See, guys, I'm a good detective. He was here last night. I have never seen him so angry. He went out to his shed and put some things in it. I don't know what and I don't want to know. I love him. Got one more question to ask her. We found a license plate matching our stolen vehicle in the shed. Add in the assortment of parts and we can make Gabriel for a dozen other thefts. It's time to get serious, Anna. You must ask these questions of Gabriel. I know nothing of these car parts. Bullshit, lady. But I'm not sure I can trust her, and I, I'm going to give the, the community a chance to redeem themselves. I hope they don't let me down again. Then tell us where he is. Thank you, community. If your baby is born in prison, Anna, the corrections officers will take it from you. They you will see your themselves. son or daughter through a metal grate for half an hour a week. The start line is on First and Santa Fe. There is a spillway under the bridge that leads to the river. Many policia have wrecked trying to follow him. We will put in a good All word right. for you, Anna. Three as far out as we're three. concerned, that's just that made up for the one missed question. Start line. That so sounds guys, like a street this race. It's all to me. coming together. It's gotten out of hand this last year. And unfortunately, that's going to be no it for now. I will catch you guys later. Years.